my name is Lawrence and in this short video I'd like to demonstrate you the function and use of a small stock of espresso machine. This is a recent unit that I acquired uh, from a flea market. I gave it a big, uh, actually a little scrub and made a couple of uh, practice runs with it to see how it works. The interesting thing is that uh, this is a very unusual aluminium casting design. Usually this type of espresso machines, the stove top ones, have uh, two compartments, one for the water down below and one for the coffee in the middle and uh, another compartment where the water, where the coffee actually, um, actually collects. This one uh, requires the use of a cup, like this one, and uh, you basically just put the whole thing on a stove like this and start making coffee. Okay, so let's begin. First, uh, a little uh, explanation is required. This uh, type of stove top espresso works by pressure and heat to produce coffee. What you have to do is uh, place water here, just below this uh, mark, which is a safety valve. It will release pressure if uh, it becomes too high. After that, you place coffee grounds in this receptacle and what will happen is uh, when the water pressure will get uh, high and the temperature will be high enough, here uh, in the upper part steam will be formed. That's why you don't have to, uh, you must not fill the water up to the brim. Uh, once steam pressure is created, the water will be pushed down against this pipe and will travel uh, back uh, through this strainer here where the coffee grounds are placed and uh, thus coffee will be produced. Once the coffee has been produced, it will continue to go upwards through the second strainer and then it will come outside through these nozzles where you, you place uh, your cup or uh, your two cups. So, let's fill this receptacle with water. As I said, I fill it just below this um, safety valve. Now let's add the coffee. What I personally like to do is lightly tap the coffee as I put it in here. You, you must tap it so that uh, the coffee grounds will uh, impact more resistance to the water as it's rising. Therefore, you will obtain uh, a stronger blend of coffee. Uh, a stronger flavor. Okay, you you also don't have to you have to be careful not to overfill it. This is good enough. So what you do now is uh, firing up the stove. And now we wait. It takes about uh, two to three minutes to produce some coffee with this setup. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed and please subscribe and share. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye bye.